Today I'm going to be talking about Let's talk about the good parts of this season. What has always made the boys work for me is the fact that the show doesn't just put gore or action scenes just to put them in. And when they are shown, you feel the impact of those type of scenes. Anthony Starr was tremendous as Homelander, and I can confidently say he's one of the best antagonists on television. Every time Homelander was on screen, I was concerned for everyone that was near him, which is credit to everyone during those scenes or moments. Black Noir got more screen time in the final couple episodes, and I thought the way they explored that storyline was amazing writing, and you really feel like you understand the character, and the mystery facade vanishes, and you see the true person behind the mask. Soldier Boy was a standout this season as well, and I like the fact that even though this guy is definitely not the most heroic or good person in the world, they make you at least understand why he's the way he is. Also, I like the fact that he's pretty much the realistic version of Captain America when he gets unfrozen in the movies. And there's a part in one of the first episodes that showcases that realistic version of Captain America and how his reaction would be to how times have changed and what's acceptable now. First off, Mother Milk's shirts this season were on point. But anyways, I like the way that they dealt with how his past affects his relationship with his daughter and wife, and it even causes shift in the boys' group. Speaking of the other boys, this season I thought Huey and Butcher were obviously great, but Kumiko and Frenchie were another standout for me this season, and every time they are together, you're concerned at whether or not they'll make it to the next episode. The subtle commentary this season was on point, like, for example, the A-Train soda commercial, which is referring to the Kendall Jenner Pepsi commercial that was very controversial at the time, and The Deep doing a parody of the Gal Gadot Imagine video. And if you haven't seen it, then you should probably keep it that way. There's actually not too many problems I have with this season, and there's not anything that I think is really bad, but I do have a couple of problems with the finale. <clears throat> and though I did like this season more than last season... I still had a bit of problems with it. Obviously, I hate when shows or movies get you emotionally invested in a certain scene or character and then have a fake out and make the audience look dumb for caring. Soldier Boy gets put into isolation again, which leaves the door open for Jensen Ankles to come back, but I would have liked to see Soldier Boy die instead. Maeve pushes Soldier Boy out of a window and they both cause an explosion and you think they're dead, but Maeve just gets an eye patch and she, which was caused by Homelander and she is obviously healing, but still I think that would have been a good way to see Maeve redeemed and conclude her storyline. One more thing, when Starlight was charging her powers and Soldier Boy was just standing there and waiting for the last possible second to do something, it made me a bit annoyed and I don't know who exactly to blame for that. If you obviously notice, all my problems were with the finale, but all the other episodes this season were nothing short of fantastic, and this season might be my favorite. Overall, I'm going to give the boys a 9 out of 10. What do you guys think of the boys season 3? Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? If you haven't seen the boys, you probably should. I, I'm going to give this season a 9 out of 10. I thought it was really great. I loved everything about it. I can't wait for season 4. Let me know what you guys thought. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know. But those are my thoughts on this season.